Hello fellow fragrance lovers and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm kicking it old school. I don't know why I'm, <laughs> I'm kicking it old school and I am revisiting some perfumes that I used to use in middle school. I was like such an awkward embarrassing middle schooler. I am going to put a picture of myself in the in the thumbnail from when I was in I think sixth grade it's super embarrassing I had like a mullet and of course my natural hair color is not this it is very dark brown but anywho yeah but one thing you know has remained the same and that is you know I've always loved fragrances since I was a little little girl and I was really young when I used these particular perfumes, so I'm going to like re-sniff them and see if I still like them. And I, these are not the original ones from, oh gosh, that would be probably gross because we're talking, you know, late 80s, early 90s, but they are, some of them are older. A couple of them I recently bought, but I'll fill you in on that. But uh, thank you so much for being here and spending some time with me. And of course, Thank you to everyone who has subscribed and is commenting. It's been really great. But of course, if you have not subscribed already, please do so. I would really appreciate it. And of course, give this video a thumbs up if you like it. It'll help my channel and click the notification bell so you know when I'm coming out with new content. So we're going to get into a really old school fragrance in my life. And in fact, I wore this even before middle school. I might have been in elementary school when I got this one, but I figured I'd throw it in there. And that is the classic Love's Baby Soft. Who didn't have this? Who didn't, you know, get this in your stocking at Christmas? You know, if you're in my age group, I guess. So it's just a classic and it's kind of deceptive because it looks like super... You know, like it would be, I don't know, maybe super sweet or very youthful or innocent, but it actually does have a little bit of musk to it. Although I want to say this newer formulation of it is definitely not the one that I grew up with. And I'll get to that in a moment. So Love's Baby Soft actually came out in 1974, but the notes in it are musk, lavender, vanilla, rose, geranium, jasmine, and patchouli. So I guess I didn't realize that there was patchouli in this, you know, but I love patchouli. So maybe that's what got me started. This was everywhere when I was little, everywhere. So I'm going to spray this reformulation again. I'm going to, I feel like it also needs to be shaken up. I, I don't know. This bottle is pretty new. I've only sprayed this a couple times. I got this only a few months ago. And I sprayed it a couple times and I was noticing like some weird notes in it. But let me see. Okay, now it's a little bit. I still sense a little bit. I was noticing almost like a weird plastic doll's head note. And this isn't like a vintage bottle. As I said, it's new. It doesn't smell the same. It smells like really, really synthetic <laughs> and plasticky. At least the initial spray. I'm going to let it dry down a little bit. I mean, I get hints of what it was, but I don't remember it smelling quite this synthetic. I don't know. Yeah, it's kind of weird. I'm going to let that percolate, but just in case you didn't know that you can still get Love's Baby Soft, you can. I just don't feel like it's anything like how it was. Let me know in the comments if you've had Love's Baby Soft recently. Does it smell as you remember back in, you know, like the 80s? I mean, it doesn't smell bad, but I don't know. It smells really synthetic. I don't know what I'm getting in this. I think a lot of the geranium, I don't know. I'm going to let it settle a little longer, but that was Love's Baby Soft. 
Okay, another middle school favorite that I feel like is totally different in a couple times I've tried it since I also got this a few months ago, and that is exclamation. This was my jam, like sixth, seventh grade especially. Everyone was getting this. It was a big deal. But here's my thing with this newer formulation. I sprayed it here. Okay, now I'm getting... The weird thing is, like, you don't get the essence of how it used to be until way, way, way in the dry down. Because now in the top, I get a lot of this peachy apricot note, and I don't remember that from before. So let me tell you the notes in exclamation. Okay, this one has top notes of peach, apricot, bergamot, and green notes, mid notes of heliotrope, orris root, rose, jasmine, lily of the valley, and base notes of vanilla, musk, sandalwood, amber, cinnamon, and cedar. So the original exclamation, I remember being more of those base notes. I remember it being like more kind of woody, spicy. This is a lot of the apricot, peach and apricot. And it's kind of like a weird blend with those other notes. It's kind of all over the place, but it doesn't smell like the old one. I don't know. It gets better in the dry down. Now let me check on uh, Love's Baby Soft. Okay, Love's Baby Soft is like getting better. Uh, still not the same. I don't know. Okay, now the exclamation is sort of turning into, but I also remember exclamation being a powerhouse. Like you could just stink up a room with it because it, it it's always been to me a very strange fragrance. Like it doesn't smell like anything else. I guess that's good, but there's just something slightly off-putting about it. Like the notes don't really go together or something. And I remember it being a lot more powdery. This has a little powderiness. It's not the same exclamation. So I'm a little disappointed. And I don't know. The, I am getting a little bit of the nostalgia. It's bringing me back. But I'm not quite as big of a fan of either of these first two as I was in middle school. Because of the reformulation. If they smell how I remember them, and I think I'm my memory is accurate, I would probably still like them, but yeah, I don't know. Let me know if you've tried exclamation recently. Yeah, I don't know. Those are weird. Okay, moving right along. Here's one that I know that I do still like, although this, now this I did buy, oh gosh, this is probably like 10 years old at this point, but it's, it's still going. And that is Cody Wild Musk. And I remember getting this when it came out in 1972. I'm not quite that old, but I did get this when I was like nine or 10 for the first time and fell in love with it. And I still love it. And like this one, I can smell. I don't have too many things on me, but like I can smell it. Yeah, even from even from the uh, the bottle here. But Cody Wild Musk is very simple. It's just musk, vanilla, rose, and jasmine. It's just this really nice, clean musk. And I don't know, it just smells really good. No fuss, very simple, but musky, sweet musky. I really like it. And I feel like this one, they didn't tamper with too much. So that was Cody Wild Musk. I was a little elementary middle schooler wearing that. I loved it. So the last one is one I was like digging through my closet, like where I keep all my fragrances. And I found this. This was also maybe from like 10 years ago. And this is Avon Night Magic Evening Musk. And my mom wore this in the 80s too. And then I just kind of stole it from her and then I got my own eventually and I would just keep oh my god I would keep repurchasing it now I checked Avon's website and it looks like this bottle this retro bottle they don't have anymore it's like in a clear bottle now 
um, but the, it is still available. So this I sprayed on just a little bit ago. Oh my gosh, like it's so good. It's weird. Like in the in the opening, this it's definitely it's gotten a little funky in my closet for like ten years. But in the dry down, it's the same. It is so good. And then I was looking at the reviews on Fragrantica, which I'd never done that before for this fragrance. And it actually has like a 4.23 rating and everyone's, for the most part, raving about it and how great it is. And it's such a classic. And I'm telling you, like, if you wore this now, people probably wouldn't even know that it was like an Avon perfume from the 80s. It smells so good. It's really, really good. Definitely the best one out of all of these. So the notes in Night Magic Evening Musk by Avon. Uh, top notes are aldehydes, neroli, and lily of the valley. Mid notes are ylang lang, rose, and jasmine. And then the base notes are musk, incense, sandalwood, amber, vetiver, and cedar. So these are a lot of notes that I like in my current perfume. So I think Night Magic Evening Musk was like priming me for my like present day perfume tastes. So this one, I definitely still love, still gets the limelight last two thumbs up. If you have an Avon lady, get the Night Magic Evening Musk. It's really great and it's cheap. So I'm, I'm going to try to get a newer bottle of it because it's really good for fall and winter. I think it would be great. So yeah, so there you have it. There are four perfumes that I wore in my middle school days. I would say, yeah, exclamation's not really doing it for me anymore. It's just, it just smells weird. And then Love's Baby Soft, just nothing like I remember. Cody Wild Musk, yes. Night Magic Evening Musk, yes. And there were a couple other ones that I wore in middle school, but I don't have them right now. So I used to wear Sand and Sable, which is still around, but I need to get a new bottle of that or at least smell it. I don't know if I would still like it because that one was kind of different. It's like from what my tastes are now. And then what else did I wear in middle school? I wore some Yves Rocher perfumes in middle school. Actually, a lot of Yves Rocher perfumes that are discontinued. There was one called Venice, one called Ispahan, Orchidae. They still make great perfumes, but they got rid of all of those like classic 80, 80s ones that I loved when I was in middle school. So I would love for them to come back. But these are four middle school ones. Maybe I'll do like a high school edition, a college edition. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Would you like to see something like that? And uh, of course, thank you again for supporting my channel. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.